Alright guys, welcome to As Above, So Below. This is an interesting level because it has pieces of previous levels injected into, into it, so it's kind of a cool aesthetic. What you want to do is drop down here, and here's your first secret, just use the mortar to bust it open. I like to use the double barrel here to take out the scientists. There's three of them here, and there's one in the corner. Now, we're going to get sword out and get ready to take out a knight, sword guy. There's some soldiers here. Now, get your mortar out and shoot her out right here, and you should take out both soldiers with one shot. But get your sword back out and take out the ghoul. And here's your secret number two. Kind of tricky to get down this hole sometimes. Now, mortar out. You're going to drop down here and shoot above the group. Take them out. Just strafe as needed. Just keep firing at the cultists coming to your position. Now, sword out. Drop down. Get ready to take out the ghoul. The charge shot. We'll come back here to get the crystal of madness later, but instead, let's go over here and take out the super cultist. Machine gun out and take out a few more cultists. There's a ghoul to the left here. We'll aggro him with a shot and get him to come to us. Then we'll get our mortar out, I mean our rivet gun out. Fire at the... Actually, these are called cowgirls. I was calling them mamas. But no, they're cowgirls is what they're called. Now, sword out for the next couple of sword guys here. Machine gun for these goats. There's quite a few in this left room here. Now, shotgun, double barrel. Don't approach too close because you'll get them to go up on the jump pads and stuff and it's kind of disorienting. You barely just want them to aggro and you'll see they come from the roof if they hit that that uh, jump pad. We want to aggro this cowgirl here, back up. Remember, it takes four rivet shots to take one out. We got another one on the right as soon as you go through here. Remember, you can get damaged by their projectiles as long as it's not a direct hit. Up this jump pad. Get the secret. Now we're going to use the mortar to take out some bone monks. If you approach from this side, they won't aggro yet. You can just ambush them from above. Now we're going to drop down. There's one cultist down here guarding the key. We took some damage from the lava. There is a lava power up right here, which I should have picked up the first time. Now, use the crystal of madness here. This one right here, we're going to take it into this room where the jump pad was, and we're going to throw it at the ceiling. Now, while they're killing themselves, we're going to go get another crystal of madness for use in the level later. You can hear them fighting each other, you know you're good. It's imperative to get this Crystal of Madness because this is the more important one. We want to protect it at all costs. Don't break it. Sometimes when you go up staircases or something, you can accidentally break the crystal and that's not good. So, be careful. You should be safe now. Just go up the jump pad. They'll be killing themselves, so... Just take them out. Now get your crossbow out. I recommend leaving the Crystal of Madness in this room because you don't want to destroy it from collateral damage when fighting other enemies. You can use your crossbow to take out the two turrets through the wall there. There's two of them. Now, you want to use your mortar here. You're going to use your mortar first to draw out the Wendigos and then you're going to use your crossbow to finish them off. Fire a couple shots, then get your crossbow out and just shoot them. The penetration power is the best for the Wendigos there. Now we're going to go get the Crystal Madness. This next section is the hardest of the level, no doubt about it. There's a lot of enemies in this open area, but with the Crystal of Madness, it's much easier.
So you want to take the Crystal of Madness and just chunk it right in front of the skull here. Everything is big in this open area, and you're small. It's kind of weird. You have big barrels and big skulls. I recommend just starting on the left side and picking off a few of the cultists on the left, and then there's soldiers on the right side. There's three of them right there. Don't venture out too far because you don't know if the bone monks have been influenced yet. There's quite a few of the bone monks in the air and there's a bone ball as well. But in this situation I didn't see the bone ball, but trust me it's there. There's also a dog on the right as well. But the ghouls, once the ghouls get aggro, they like to kill pretty much everything. So they usually are responsible for killing a lot of ground enemies. But take care and make sure you take out the heavies as well. You can see that one in the in that ghoul in the back there. He's already on a rampage. So we'll leave him to his own devices. But you want to make your way to the right side. There's a secret here. Which we will get. You take out this guy. He's like a miniature. <laughs> he's like a miniature. Uh, they're called leatherheads. I guess they couldn't use the word leatherface. It's a uh, copyright, I guess. But here he is, right here. He's a little miniature, little miniature guy. Aw, cute. Leather heads, they're called. <laughs> Make sure to get your ammo to restock everything. Those bags of ammo, restock all of your ammo. And here's the guy. He's gotten bored now. There's nothing left to kill. Now, I like to use the mortar or the uh, rivet here and just shoot a couple shots to take out that group of enemies. Now, there's a cowgirl here. Four shots. Sword out to take out the sword guy coming here. Now, try to take out this scarecrow guy. I failed here. If you don't take him out, he'll go through the teleporter. And he made it through, so we're going to have to deal with him later. We have to get the soap in this level because there's an achievement tied to this level as well, into this soap. So you have to get it anyway. Make your way right here. There's a secret here. You need to pick the soap back up. This wall can only be destroyed with the soap. We'll find the lavender secret, which is an achievement. Now, really important here, make sure you get your double barrel shotgun out. You can bring the soap along if you want. I probably should have, in hindsight, to take out the cowgirl in the next section, but I didn't. Get all your ammo. As soon as you get these totems, don't waste any time. You're on borrowed time here. Run through as fast as you can. Take out the scientists. And remember that, that scarecrow. I really don't like him to be in this area, though. Get your rivet gun out and, and unload immediately. Drop down here. Don't waste any time. Get down to cover as fast as you can. You'll need to take out the cowgirl quickly here. And there's a heavy here. And make sure you take her out. It's just better to just drop down as fast as possible. Get the key. And this section is done. The rest of the level is pretty simple. Just don't make any stupid mistakes. You're basically going back to level one. So we'll go back through that yellow key card door. Yellow key, yellow key door, not yellow key card door. This isn't Doom. We're back in the first level. Just take out all these cultists, draw them out. They're going to come from the far end. There's some turrets here. You can take them out from from here. There's a couple of uh, soldiers here. There's another sword guy coming. Get him. Don't let him overwhelm you. Now make sure you go this way because there's a hidden enemy over here. It's a dog. But we're going to use the uh, rivet gun. We're not, we're not taking any chances with this guy. Three shots. Now it's just double barrel the rest of the way. Got some chainsaw guys where we're in the first 
where we spawned in the first level. We're back in the very first section. And all the enemies are dead. We have to put ourselves on the meat hooks again to complete the circle. That's it, guys. I will see you guys in Dweller in the Darkness, the worst level in the history of video games.